Yes, well, we're specializing in serving everything that is from our home country of South Africa. Oh, okay. And one of those, uh, so all of our treats, or most of our treats, will be uh, traditional South African um, baked items. Okay. Um, but one of the things that we're really excited to serve is rooibos uh, lattes mm -hmm. and cappuccinos. Okay. Um, so that's something that we love to drink in South Africa. And um, you guys are preparing them like using a machine, an espresso machine. Yes. Now this is what is uh, truly fabulous because this doesn't happen uh, here in the United States. Um, but in South Africa, we prepare rooibos latte on a machine just like you would an espresso latte. Okay. Um, and we pour the shots in the same way. And um, so this is an example. This is the tea here. Yes, that is the tea. And um, will you just show me how you kind of prep it and stuff? Well, sure. Yes. <laughs> so the tea is prepped um, just like you would. Thank you. <laughs> didn't, get, didn't get to do that. Um, so the tea is prepped uh, in a similar manner that you would do uh, an espresso shot, except that instead of tamping it down, you are not going to tamp it down. You're just going to uh, let it stay in there just by itself. And is that like about a tablespoon? Uh, it's um, actually, I believe it's uh, about a tablespoon and a half okay. is the measurement of tea that you will use. And it's ground really, really fine. Mm -hmm. So it's not uh, traditional tea that you would um, just tea leaves. Um, they're ground specially for espresso tea. Okay. And, and do you grind that yourself? No, we don't. We actually get this from a company in South Africa that um, we order it from. Okay. We don't want to give away your trade secrets. Where you get no, it. no. <laughs> but you're importing it directly from there, and they're preparing it for this. Yes. Style yes, of prep. They okay. Are. They are. And uh, and so then you'll just go ahead and you'll uh, you'll pull a shot, um, just like you would. And you didn't tamp. I did not tamp. And it comes out. Uh, you know, it has it has a similar look to an espresso shot. Mm -hmm. um, it has the crema on the top, and then you know the body and, and the hot at the bottom. Um, and, and are we doing two ounces, ounces, basically one ounce each? Uh, yes, one ounce each. Um, because we're doing, I, I guess you would put less if maybe you weren't doing a 16 ounce, um, but our standard size is going to be a 16 ounce drink. Okay. So that'll go, yeah. that'll get uh, two shots of Roybos Espresso in it. So why do I want to drink this? Well, Roybos Espresso is pretty fabulous um, in terms of flavor. Okay. Um, it's it's kind of got a full body tea flavor. Um, it's naturally caffeine free, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. Um, and then it also has, it's very high in antioxidants because of the way that it's ground and the amount that it's pulled through. Um, so it's about five times the antioxidants of green tea. Okay. Um, so that's something, so it's good for you and it tastes good. Mm -hmm. It's great before bed. Um, it kind of relaxes you and, and puts you in a good space, and it's just tasty. So after you pull the shots, you are you steam up some milk. Yep, you can steam up your milk, and like I said, just like you would a standard latte or an espresso latte. Yep. Um, and you were mentioning in South Africa, they they serve it with a treat on the side. They serve it with a treat on the side, and we also serve it with uh, honey and cinnamon sugar on top. Okay. So that's, um, that's how I'll clean that in a bit. So, and we also serve it um, kind of upside down with a little bit of a layered look. That's just fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in South Africa, we actually, they serve a latte. Um, they don't actually serve it already mixed. They give it to you in one of these, and then you as the customer mix it together yourself. So, so they serve pull, you just the milk. They'll serve you just the milk poured in there, and then you as the customer serve it. Um, you know, but we've debated back and forth whether or not we should serve it that way in a store. We haven't. Yeah. In America, I don't know if they'll ever be too happy. I, I, don't, I don't know about that, you know. But, and then, like I said, you serve it with just a little bit of honey, which gives it that little bonus of sweetness. And a little bit of cinnamon sugar. And that is a traditional South African rooibos latte. And Brandon, you have one over there. I've been there. drinking mine a little bit. I'm yeah. trying to save it though. You're I didn't want to be completely gone. <laughs> yeah. But now that I just learned there was no caffeine in it, I was a little. Uh... <laughs> no, you it don't want to drink it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was getting a caffeinated drink. No, 
or you're not getting a caffeinated <laughs> beverage, but it's delightfully tasty. So I don't can I very good. Can I try that? You sure can. Well, you be careful. It's hot. What? Oh, okay. I didn't want to. I, I think oh, that. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I can make my husband another one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here. You can have, you can have yours. We don't have to share. <laughs> share cooties. There you go. It, it is very good. It's not. I, I was just saying, I don't. It wasn't exactly what I mm. thought it was going to be. It really is. It, it tastes like tea. And just mm -hmm. the whole preparation, I was really expecting espresso type. Yeah. You know, drink, but I mean, mm. it's, it's. But it has the body of a tea, or I mean, the body of an espresso. Like, it tastes like you're drinking like a thick, creamy latte, um, but definitely, obviously, a different flavor. Flavor of tea, um, it's not overpowering. It's not, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's very well balanced. <laughs> um, so, you're serving this. What other treats? Um, from South Africa are you guys going to be serving uh, up here? Well, we'll be serving things. Uh, we have a couple of different treats. We have milk tart, which is um, like a custard tart mm -hmm. um, that we have that's a really traditional tart. We actually have a picture of one on the wall over there. Is it, and then, is it sweet um, or savory? It's a sweet tart. Okay. Yeah. And then we have um, Cook Sisters, which are like a, um, it's a donut that is dipped in syrup. So there's oh. syrup soaked through the donut. Yum. None of these things are good for your hips. <laughs> um, that's okay because these are very healthy. <laughs> exactly. So it out. It's like a net neutral, right? <laughs> that's the way I live my life. So, and we'll be serving, you know, traditional tea items, mm -hmm. uh, scones uh, with jam and cream. Uh, in South Africa, we like to have our scones with uh, jam and cheese. Uh huh. Um, so we'll be serving them that way as well. Yeah. Um, and then we. Uh, we have herzogs, which are, um, it's like a tart base, and it's filled with um, apricot jam, and then it's topped with meringue and uh, coconut. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, just traditional things, nothing that Americans would, would say, oh, that's a weird flavor, I've never had anything like that before, mm -hmm. um, but just a little bit different. Um, so something that they'll say, oh, well, I've never had that before, you know, that's an interesting way to combine those flavors, or... Um, you know something that's just different so. and what kind of environment are you guys trying to create here like obviously tea house kind of a community thing are you gonna be open like a lot of hours you know like late into the night or what what no, is your goal at this point we're really we're gonna be open um, you know mornings afternoons um, mm -hmm. and we'll close at about six okay. um, you know that's how we're beginning we'll see what happens from there and see you know what our customers and what the neighborhood wants but mm -hmm. um, you know really what we are trying to create here is a space in South Africa. You know, one of our goals with this tea shop is in South Africa at tea time at four o'clock in the afternoon, everyone stops everything and you go and you have tea mm -hmm. and you don't just grab tea at a Starbucks. You don't just run out the door. You sit for about an hour and you enjoy your tea with your friends mm -hmm. and your family or whoever you're with and you take a break. And so one of the things we want to create here at Cedarburg is a place where people sit and they take a break and they really indulge. And so, you know, from making the drinks look pretty, making the environment comfortable, um, we really want to create a space where people want to just sit mm -hmm. and hang out and not be on their computers, not be, you know, tapped into something else, but really mm -hmm. be tapped into the people and the community around them. Well, I can so get behind anything that requires a work stoppage at 4 o'clock. Yes, work stoppage, 4 o'clock <laughs> for an hour. 4 o'clock pushing it. Anyways, but no, he's, at, he's, he's usually good till about 1.30, 2 p.m. every day. Then you just let him go. <laughs> 